Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Sunday. Uh, April 19th, 2013. We're actually, you know, I'm waiting for my mom to come out. We're going down to, uh, she has to do banking up in Bangor, so we have to drive about 20 miles to do some banking. <clears throat> I guess somebody she gave a check to lost it, and she's got to go get the cash. Anyway, that's where we're gonna go. I think when we're up in Bangor, I'll see if she can get some spackle tape for the uh, projects in there. Well, we're on our way to Bangor. I don't think there's gonna be any garage sales today because it looks like it's gonna rain. Okay, we just left um, Sovereign. Thanks, ATM. <clears throat> We're going to stop and get some spackle tape at Ace. Okay, we got some lollipops and some spackle tape and a saw. Spackle, um, spackle saw. Wall sheetrock saw. So now we can do some doing. Now, where are we going now, Ma? <laughs> Is it okay tonight? My mom is yeah, having it. Yes, it's okay tonight, probably. Where are we going now, Ma? Mom, well, I guess. Don't you have to deliver the money? Yeah, well, I guess we're going home. Well, we turned around. My mom wanted to go to a flea market. <laughs> just called me a jerk. Anyway, we're going to see, check out this supposed indoor garage sale that's down the street. I don't know if it was an old sign. Sometimes people don't take their signs down. Oh, we got some extra stuff in the uh, garage sale. But we got some sheetrock. So we spent like uh, $18 at the garage sale, but we got these two copper things. This one's really heavy. <laughs> this is an old uh, bed warming pan from the 1800s. And, um, okay, right? Yeah. And we got two shovels, that way I can clean the cat litter without bending over. The one, the other one, taken down to Virginia to do landscaping work. And we also got a 12 foot long piece of sheetrock. We cut it in half to two sixes. So that hopefully, uh, <laughs> it's half inch sheetrock. Hopefully, I'll be able to use that to repair if I have to cut the wall out to uh, fix the bathtub drain. All right, we're home now. I got the uh, sheetrock inside, two six-foot pieces, six by four. We'll see. Okay, I got a new one of these in the mail yesterday, or the day before. This is the one I bought from eBay. You can see it's screwed up. Looks like a color coating is different. They colored, coated all these wires different. Anyway, hopefully it'll work. Yeah, one thing I have to do is retape this because I was trying to bypass wires till I sit back with it and got another another adapter. This brings it from 20 pins to 22, I think. Oh, well, it looks like I didn't mess with anything else. Still waiting for the keyboard and mail. I did get my new. Uh, face for the other computer in the mail so I can make those two that are looking like heck uh, make them look good. Now well, let's give this a shot and see if it boots up. I have to turn the on button on, that might help.
No dice, man. Crap. This motherboard's probably shot. Oh, it's still being screwy. I guess I'll pull out the whole motherboard. And, um... See if it works with the motherboard out, just in case it's a grounding problem. Okay, I took the motherboard completely out. Here's something strange. Well, one thing strange is this is all dirty again. There's bugs in there and everything. I just had this whole thing apart. I don't understand why it would get dirty again. I must have missed something. Anyway, I found this jumper. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know what it was jumping. Okay, so... It's off the metal, so... Let's see if there's a grounding problem. Let me turn it on. Yep, still no video. Overheats pretty fast, too. Oh, it was pretty dirty. They put the heat sink back on it. This doesn't seem to like working without a heat sink either. It uh, overheats real quick. Well, at this point, I'm turning this on. And it's doing absolutely nothing now. I'll just have to put the push button back on to see if I can turn it on. Oh, that's the best I can do with that. Let's see. Alright. Same crap. I just took the CPU out and cleaned it again. battery keeps dying so it keeps forgetting its last state which may be part of the problem. Well it did something different that time. It didn't beep. <laughs> so maybe uh, that's part of the problem. <coughs> and CPU. Or this. It's actually doing nothing now. Okay, find up on three points. Let's see if it still doesn't uh, beep. Power on. Well, it's nice and quiet. Not doing anything yet, but it's nice and quiet. Okay, I have all the motherboard screws in except for the ones that go to the main heat sink. Let's see if it doesn't beep, will be cool. I don't know if this thing's completely fried now. Maybe I fried it. Nope, still good. Okay, trying it with one batch of memory. Power on. Okay, so far so good. Okay, full memory in. These banks alternate. That's why they're like that. Offset like that. You can see by the tabs you got two blacks and two whites. Hmm. Yeah, nice. Well, I hope it's nice. 
soon find out. Okay, I got the video card in. That's a known good video card because I actually had um, put it in my working machine. Let's see if it works now. This time it should post video. If it's working, if not, it's probably screwed. Not looking good. Great. Great. Yeah, I gotta say this is completely weird. It's like the whole thing's just completely dead now. <laughs> no beeps. Don't know why. Yeah, it's got to be either the motherboard or the CPU, I think. I don't have a uh, known good CPU to test in here to rule it out. I'm completely at a loss. I put it all back together, but it's crap, really. It's not going to work. Fans work. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's probably either a CPU or a motherboard. Okay, I reassembled it. I reset the CMOS, but it didn't help. Um, I may have shorted something out. That um, jumper goes right here. That was actually the CMOS jumper. When that fell off, that may have um, actually shorted something out. Hopefully it just shot out, uh, shorted out the processor. I ordered a new processor for $4. So if it's not the processor, I'll just resell it. And uh, it's not really worth buying a motherboard for this type of uh, unit. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do on this tonight. There it is, nice and neat. Now I'm going to pack that up and uh, on to other projects.